Hey guys, wanna go fishing? You wanna go fishing? All right, let's go fishing. All right, what's going on everybody? Good to see you again. It's a beautiful Monday afternoon. I've got the day off guiding. Had to take care of some stuff this morning, get the oil change in the truck, do a couple things, but it's a beautiful afternoon and I decided to get the dogs out on the boat. Everybody loves Tucker and Phoebe. So yeah, we're just gonna go poke at some of the stuff that I've been fishing with customers these past couple days. Been on a really good big fish bite, fishing deep suspended fish off the channel. This past weekend's been really fun. I'll drop those pictures right here. We caught some giants. So now that we've uh, got a nice afternoon off, there's a ton of boats out here, a ton of guys fishing all the same stuff that everybody always fishes, just getting beat up. We're gonna go do a bunch of different stuff today. So I think we'll be able to get some nice fish on film for you. Hope you guys really enjoyed that Garmin video that I put out. I hope that kind of helped you guys figure out what you're looking at as it pertains to your electronics. So in the meantime, I want to get past all these boats here, get the dogs situated, and I'll see you on the spot. All right, just rolling up to the first spot here. Nice little channel swing. Gonna be fishing 21 to 28, 33 feet of water. Just out here in Narnia. There's guys fishing on top of each other on the south bank. Guys fishing on top of each other on the north bank. Don't like it. I haven't fished in a long time with the exception of the past week or so and get on some big fish. I'm looking forward to showing you guys some big ones today. Probably gonna keep a couple. Been eating a lot of fish tacos with my girlfriend, so it's about time to restock those little portions that I've got in the freezer. Let's get the rods out. I'll show you what I'm doing. Oh, buddy. Sure looks good. All right, so again, we are fishing the very most edge of the channel break here. There's uh, some standing timber down there, not a lot of giant brush piles, but a lot of these big fish are suspended off the break. It's definitely been a quality over quantity bite, and I'll take it when they're all 13, 14 inches with the uh, occasional 12 incher mixed in but it's been really good. It's very, very spot specific. I mean, you're fishing in an area that's like three or four feet wide staying over these fish. So it's definitely a, definitely a game where you gotta be precise. If you're not exactly where you need to be, you're not catching them. Definitely not huge brush piles like I've fished before in the past that are really easy to set up on. This is uh, this takes a little bit to get perfected and get right in the right in the right spot. But when you do, you can get right in a hurry. That's kind of where I'm at today. First candidate, feels like a nice, decent fish. Oh yeah, that's a thick and healthy one right there. He is a perfect candidate for dinner. Okay, you guys agree? Perfect candidate for dinner? Beauty. Cool, took just a couple more minutes than I expected, but um, they're here. A lot of fish down there. Good first fish of the afternoon. So right now we're sitting in 33, 34 feet of water. Again, just right on the edge of the channel break. The last week or so, these fish, every time I've been on this school or in this area, those fish are pretty zoned in right between 20 and 25 feet. So just keeping those jigs still right in that zone and they'll come up for it. I've seen some race down for it as I'm dropping it, but uh, it's definitely a fun bite out here in the depths. Even better not having anybody nearby or in sight. BB, what are you doing? I think she's uh, still trying to get used to her new jacket. She might not be a fan right now, but I promise, you're staying warm. Fish on. Feels like another good one. He's all over the place. Yep, good keeper. Kind of had to move off of the channel a little bit. Those fish were really negative. I mean, I guess that's what you get when you come out at 2.30 in the afternoon instead of the morning. But uh, yeah, that guy will do for dinner. Not trying to keep any giants, but I'd like to show you a couple. That'll work. Just trying to get repositioned back over the brush here. I was just kind of scooting along, fishing different edges of this uh, brush pile, and that's when that one bit. But like I said, for some reason, had a lot of lookers on the channel break in those schools, but only had one out of it. Got a lot of stuff to fish in this small area that I'm in. 
on this channel swing here. But two for two on uh, keepers so far. We only had in two guide trips, Saturday and Sunday, we only had one short, one short fish both days. Everything else was a giant or that uh, typical 12 or 13 inch keeper. So that's why I'd like this area so much. Another one. Ooh, this one's got some weight to it. This one's got some weight to it. Oh yeah, that's, oh my God. Oh, oh no. Oh my God, that never happens. He just popped right off right at the boat. That was like a 13 and a half, close to 14 incher. Oh my God, went to boat flip him and came right off. That was a big one. Good sign though, there's a lot of fish here. Dang it. There we go. Another one here doesn't feel big. Feels pretty small actually, yep. Pretty small. Still getting the bites though. It's hard to go from a 13 and a half, almost 14 to a dink, but you're gonna have them every now and again because right now we are fishing a brush pile that's off of the channel. We're just on the uh, on the flat close to the channel, but it's just uh, just a random brush pile in the area, so we'll pick off some shorts. But usually when there's uh, when there's a school of big ones, there's not many small ones around. Hmm. There he is. A little bit nicer fish, feels like another, oh God, it's a white bass, that's why. That's bad, that's bad. Baby dickhead. There we go. Get out of the brush, get out. Oh, there he's out, good, good deal. Wow, he felt a lot bigger before, but that one will make the team for fish tacos. Not a giant, keepers. One short so far. So hopefully we can keep this school fired up here and uh, maybe find a big one. But again, you know, we didn't get out here until 2.30. All of my guide trips with the big fish, you know, all those were before, well before 11 o'clock in the morning. So it's entirely possible that really good big fish bite may all be all about timing, you know, in the morning. But we'll see here. A lot of fish down there. Yeah, I see you, Tucker. Oh, 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 hi. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Both of you, bye. There we go. Not a big one. Small. He is small. Again, we just kind of, just moving around the area, I've got a couple brush piles that aren't on the river channel. Um, but we needed to get off that suspended stuff, but now, I mean, I haven't really had too much going on on this stuff, so we're just going to keep moving around stay mobile that's the best advice i can ever offer any angler is just because there's a bunch of fish there doesn't mean they're biting so go pick off the active fish where you can find the biggins oh shit man oh finally just switched colors here feels like a better fish oh yeah that's the kind just switched up from uh, the dark purple to the light purple. Sometimes you just gotta show him something different, but uh, he'll make the team. Probably only gonna keep six or seven. Obviously don't really need too many, so that's cool. We know they're here, just gotta show them something different. The one other thing about the uh, kind of the pattern that we've been on this past week, or at least the past three or four days, is that we roll up to the spot, pick off two or three right away, even though there's still a bunch of fish there, and then it cools down quite a bit. So then after that, we just move on to the next spot and kind of rinse and repeat two, three, four fish. Oh, just got smoked there. Two, three, four fish, and then um, cools down and keep moving. Totally fine with, with moving and whatnot and keeping on the move, but definitely interesting that they cool down so fast. Definitely not, you know, weird or anything, but obviously as you've seen in a couple of my videos before, you can sit on one or two brush piles and catch 40 keepers in a hurry. Definitely not the case out here, but more quality over quantity bites, but I'm thinking that that's probably a morning, morning thing as, a, as opposed to afternoon. There we go. 
Oh yeah. Nice keeper. Still no giant giants yet, but again, I'm almost fairly certain that's that kind of 7.30 to 11 o'clock window as opposed to getting out here at the ass crack of 2.30 and then fishing a couple hours in the afternoon. But just on a little grocery run here, not complaining at all. Only had one short and one small white bass, four or five keepers in there so far. Just had to switch colors. Only tried to force feed them plum crazy for so long before they wouldn't touch it and then switched up to the lighter purple and started getting a bit more. There we go. Feels like another nice one. Yep. It'll work. 10 incher. Fish taco size. I was just kind of cruising along the edge of the channel here just uh, Marked a piece of brush that I'd never stopped at before and dropped down and got bit right away. I'm just like scooting along the edge of the channel and fishing pretty much any piece of wood that I see that I don't have marked and it worked. Keepers, keepers, keepers. Fish on, big one. Finally, this is a big one. Yep, oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's see, I've got my line from previous snag in there and also my jigs. Do you see what's happening right now? I have four jigs and those are mine from like, uh, what, like 20 minutes ago that I broke off probably. So that's neat that I got jigs back and a giant. So let's, uh, let's get this fish in the box <laughs> and try and figure this mess out. Holy balls. Move Tucker. Nice fish. Well, that's pretty funny. Well, I don't know. I don't know if these jigs are from one of my... I'm pretty sure these jigs are from one of my guide trips this weekend because I wasn't using a purple jig head. But either way, these are all mine. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty funny. Bonus. Take a picture of that guy and let him go. That's neat. Okay, check back in with you after I get this cluster taken care of. Time to move. Yeah, buddy. Tucker, stop. Just came over to one of these, uh, well, it's close to the community pile area on this bank here, but there's a couple that are right up against the channel that have nicer fish on them. That's one of them. So getting kind of close to what I want to keep. So probably just give it a little bit more here and then call it, but haven't had uh, but one short fish yet this afternoon out of the seven or eight keepers that we've got. And that's, that's what I'm here for. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. I think we're gonna end it on a nice one here. Oh yeah. Got my phone in between my pocket. Sweet. Hey, nice one. Put the box there. Cool. Well, I think, uh, we're gonna get everything stitched up and call it an afternoon. That's pretty fun. Little afternoon. Didn't get the big ones that I thought, but definitely had the right bites. One short couple hours. Well, that's not a terrible uh, afternoon. Just came out, enjoy the nice weather. As you guys can see, almost flat calm behind me. Just had an opportunity to get out. Got most of the rest of the week open. Just kind of wanted to see what was going on, but really again, thought it was gonna be a big fish bite, but I think that that window is mostly in the morning. That's obviously when I run all my guide trips in the morning and that's kind of when those big fish windows have been, but not complaining with what I've got in the live well. That's enough for what I need for some fish tacos. So again, definitely hope that you guys like that Garmin video that I put out a day or so ago. Something that I've always wanted to do, try and you know help people understand what they're looking at as far as their electronics. I mean, that's like the number one question that I get asked by customers when I'm on the boat. They always wanna watch my graphs. So hope that helped you guys out. But in the meantime here, I'm gonna get these dogs home, get these fish cleaned up and uh, start this video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you subscribe, go like the Kansas Angling Experience Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you on the next video.